Yeah. I've, I've, well, you worked with Morrissey, right? I did. So didn't they have a lot of that going on with their band, with him, or no? Uh, How was he, man? Very difficult. I mean, Morrissey, one of the great talents. Smith's oh, one of my oh, favorite completely. bands. Love that guy. Yeah. I mean, uh, amazing, amazing songwriter. I worked with him on a couple of what I consider to be his greatest solo albums, especially Vauxhall and I. Mm, but so he, cool. he is impossible. He is impossible to deal with. And whether it's intentional or that's just who he is, I mean, he's very, very difficult to work with. So, you know, there are people like him, and then there are people like Johnny Marr, who was his partner in The Smiths, who's the exact opposite. Oh, I didn't He's know a wonderful that. guy, super talented, lovely guy. I mean, I, you know, he, Morrissey for me was just, you know, I, it's another one of those things where it's a point of pride that I had Morrissey as a client and I, did the work for him that I did. For so I'll always be proud of, time. of that. Yeah. Excuse me? Yeah, that you did that you survived for oh, a period oh, yeah, of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean by that time I was pretty hardened. I wasn't worried about surviving. In fact, my attitude had really changed. I think if I'd had Morrissey as a client at, in like the very late eighties or you know or ninety or something before I'd really been seasoned by people like Prince and George <laughs> Michael. Um, yeah. I, I think I might it might have broken me because I loved him so much. He's that but he's that I, hard. Yeah, I mean, but by the time, it's not that he was harsh. It's just you have such a level of, uh, you, you love the person so much, you admire them so much that you, you know, and you have these relationships with these other superstars and you think, well, they like me. What's the problem? You know, but it, of course, life doesn't work like that. And he just, it, it wasn't a like, not like thing. He was very kind of, there was an insecurity there that you could just, you could never get past. It didn't matter what you did, you know, so... I look at it as a, you know, as a great experience, but not one I would ever want to repeat. On the other hand, working with people like Erasure or well, well, Depeche Mode or the B-52s, you know, as hard as those things are sometimes, um, you know, those are people who I enjoyed working with. Hey, thanks for watching and or listening. And if you want to catch all the latest updates, uh, make sure you bang on that subscribe button.